we could have executed a little bit better on offense, but they're a really good defensive team. So uh, we got a little stagnant. We didn't get out in transition probably as much as we would have liked, but um, we did some good things, but also some some things we can learn from. Obviously, a lot of people here that wear fever stuff or wear, you know, Caitlin Clark shirt, whatever. But at the same time, they understand really good basketball and they can appreciate what the Lynx did and who the Lynx are um, and also their history. Like they know who oh, Maya sure. Moore is. They know, you know, she's one of the best of all time. So they're here to celebrate her and appreciate her, too. And um, yeah, I mean, I think. You definitely have those loyal Lynx fans. You heard them sometimes too. And then you certainly heard a crowd that just loves basketball and was there to celebrate it. And honestly, it was a great game. Like the offense was great. The world of women's basketball is buzzing with excitement and intense debate as a new generation of stars makes its mark on the sport. At the center of this discussion are Caitlin Clark, the rising star from the Indiana Fever, Angel Reese, a dominant presence on the court for the Chicago Sky, and WNBA veteran Diana Taurasi, a legend in her own right. A recent string of games, paired with a bold statement by renowned coach Cheryl Reeve, has sent shockwaves through the basketball world, igniting conversations about who truly deserves the title of Rookie of the Year and what the future holds for these emerging talents. Caitlin Clark has become one of the brightest young stars in the WNBA, captivating fans with her dynamic scoring ability court vision, and leadership. However, her rapid rise to prominence has also intensified rivalries with fellow rookies like Angel Reese and drawn comparisons to veteran players like Diana Taurasi. Cheryl Rees outspoken support for Clark as Rookie of the Year has only added fuel to the fire, prompting debates about performance, consistency, and potential among the league's top young players. But how did we get here? What exactly did Cheryl Reeves say that's causing such a stir? And how has Caitlin Clark's play on the court backed up the growing hype around her? Let's dive deep into the dramatic rise of Caitlin Clark, her rivalry with Angel Reese, and the larger impact this has on the WNBA. Caitlin Clark entered the WNBA with immense hype, following an exceptional college career at the University of Iowa. Known for her ability to score from anywhere on the court, Clark quickly established herself as a cornerstone of the Indiana Fever's offense. From the very first tip-off of the season, it was clear that Clark was not only ready for the professional stage, but she was destined to dominate it. One of Clark's most electrifying performances came in a recent matchup against the Dallas Wings. The Fever secured a critical 100-93 victory, with Clark leading the charge, scoring 28 points, and showcasing her impeccable ability to control the game. She dictated the tempo, making quick reads and always finding the right pass or the right shot. It was the kind of performance that immediately drew attention, further building her case for Rookie of the Year. Meanwhile, her rival Angel Reese, though solid, struggled to shine in the same way. Despite moments of brilliance, Reese found herself overshadowed by Clark's dominance. This difference in impact between the two young stars only intensified the debate over which rookie deserved the top honors. Cheryl Reeve, a highly respected coach in the WNBA, has never been one to mince words. Known for her insightful, no-nonsense approach, Reeve has been vocal about her belief that Caitlin Clark is the clear front-runner for the Rookie of the Year award. In the lead-up to the Fever's game against the Wings, Reeve doubled down on her stance citing Clark's consistency, ability to perform under pressure, and leadership as reasons why she deserves the honor. Clark has been nothing short of exceptional this season, Reeves stated. Her ability to read the game, make quick decisions, and deliver in high-pressure situations sets her apart. She's not just scoring points, she's making the right plays at the right moments. That's what makes her special. Reeves' comments weren't just praise for Clark, though they also carried implications for Angel Reese. While acknowledging Reese's talent and potential, Reeve pointed out that Reese has yet to consistently dominate the way Clark has. It was a pointed critique, one that many took as a challenge for Reese to step up her game. From the moment Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese entered the WNBA, fans and analysts alike began drawing comparisons between the two rookies. Both players had stellar college careers and were expected to make an immediate impact in the league. But as the season progressed, 
it became clear that while Reese was undeniably talented, Clark was the one consistently rising to the occasion. In the Fever's victory over the Wings, the contrast between the two players was stark. Clark was everywhere, scoring, assisting, and making key defensive plays, while Reese struggled to maintain the same level of influence. The game, billed as a showdown between two of the league's most exciting young players, ended with Clark as the undeniable star of the night. This disparity between the two players has only heightened the rivalry. Reese, who entered the league with considerable hype, has found herself in Clark's shadow more often than not. While she has had her moments of brilliance, Reese has yet to put together the kind of season-long consistency that Clark has demonstrated. And with Reese's public endorsement of Clark for Rookie of the Year, the pressure on Reese to live up to expectations has only intensified. However, it's important to note that despite the media's focus on this rivalry, both players have expressed mutual respect for one another. In a post-fame interview, Clark spoke about her relationship with Reese, saying, We've been competing against each other since high school, and I have nothing but respect for her. She's an incredible player and person, and I'm excited to see how we both continue to grow in this league. Reese echoed similar sentiments, stating, People always want to pit us against each other, but at the end of the day, we're just out here trying to do our best for our teams. I know Caitlin's got my back, and I've got hers. As Clark and Reese battle for rookie supremacy, it's impossible to ignore the looming presence of Diana Torresi, one of the greatest players in WNBA history. At 42 years old, Torresi continues to defy expectations, leading the Phoenix Mercury with her trademark blend of skill, leadership, and intensity. While Torresi's best days may be behind her, her influence on the game, and on players like Clark and Reese, is undeniable. In a recent interview, Torresi was asked about the emergence of the new generation of WNBA stars, including Clark and Reese. Her response was characteristically blunt. They're both great players, no doubt. But the transition to this league isn't easy. It takes time to adjust, and we'll see who can handle that pressure. Torresi's words carry weight, not just because of her accomplishments, but because she has lived the experience of transitioning from college star to Delhi NBA legend. She knows better than anyone the challenges that come with maintaining a high level of performance over an extended career. In fact, Torresi's matchup against Clark earlier this season was one of the most anticipated games of the year. While the favor ultimately fell short in that contest, Clark held her own against a seasoned veteran, further proving that she belongs on this stage. Torresi, Ever the competitor had little to say about the game afterward, simply acknowledging that Clark played well. As the season has progressed, Caitlin Clark has not only met expectations, she has shattered them. In a recent game against the Seattle Storm, Clark broke the WNBA's single game assist record, dishing out an incredible 19 assists. This wasn't just a rookie record, it was the most assists by any player in the history of the league. Clark's performance was a masterclass in playmaking, as she orchestrated the Fever's offense with surgical precision, constantly setting up her teammates for easy buckets. Clark's ability to impact the game in multiple ways, whether through scoring, passing, or defense, is what sets her apart from other rookies. While many young players struggle to find consistency in their first year, Clark has been a steady force for the Fever, helping her team stay competitive despite their struggles in the standings. The emergence of Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, and other young stars represents a turning point for the WNBA. As the league continues to grow in popularity, these players are not only carrying the torch for their teams, they're also helping to expand the visibility and reach of women's basketball as a whole. Clark, in particular, has become a symbol of the new wave of talent entering the league. Her ability to draw fans to the game, both in person and on social media, has helped to elevate the profile of the WNBA. Meanwhile, Reese's physical style of play and larger-than-life personality have made her a fan favorite, even as she continues to develop her game. The rivalry between these two players, while rooted in competition, also highlights the growing depth of talent in the league. 
with veterans like Diana Taurasi still leading the way, and newcomers like Clark and Reese pushing the game to new heights, the future of women's basketball has never looked brighter. As the 2024 WNBA season continues to unfold, all eyes will be on Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. Will Clark's record-breaking performances continue to cement her as the Rookie of the Year favorite? Can Reese rise to the challenge and fulfill the immense expectations placed upon her? And what role will veterans like Diana Teresi play in shaping the next generation of stars?